Twin Turbo Tuesday then. Um, opening statement. I had a couple of uh, comments um, regarding the last video saying Twin Turbo Tuesday but not single turbo in sight. Um, I promise there will be turbos at the end of this video, however I do believe in showing the full process that I'm doing here to turbocharge the, uh, my P38 Range Rover and a lot of that is preparation work so in this video I'm just going to quickly touch on the auto gearbox I'm now fitting and the fuel pump uh, modification I'm doing um, and then um, yeah then I'll, I'll get into fitting some turbos so but this video again is just a kind of preparation video um, we will be showing uh, the beginning of installation of the turbos at the end of it um, however what I'm into now, after I've removed the uh, icicles, is I'm now going to pull the auto box out. Nothing wrong with it, it's done 155,000 miles, driving nicely. However, I've rebuilt another box um, to put in here, so I've got fresh clutch packs in there, and the valve body's been gone through as well. I've done, I've done that previously, all ready to install, just to uh, give the auto box its best possible chance for the dyno tune and run. So uh, this evening I'm hoping to get this box dropped out, and then I'll come back tomorrow and change it over. So uh, yeah, just a quick update on preliminary work for turbos, really. Quick update then. Uh, old box out, transfer box off, new box ready. Transfer box, new box, joined together, up and in. See you in a second. There we go then, up and in went quite smoothly. Um, I did have a double dowel scenario where a dowel that's meant to stay in the block was in the bell housing of the box that I'd rebuilt. Um, so I had to remove that. Um, but no, all in. So next section of this video will be the fuel pump. Real quick um, bit here then on the fuel pump. So this is the fuel pump out of my Range Rover. Um, so you've got the pre-filter here, uh, post filter in this black canister here, and the fuel pump slots down in the center. This is the original fuel pump out of my um, casing, which doesn't have any markings on it at all. I uh, had a fuel pump here out of another vehicle, uh, one with broken for spares, and um, Obviously it's branded with the Bosch part numbers, so I suspect that my fuel pump had been replaced at some point with a non-genuine one. Um, looked up the Bosch part number on these, which I didn't have previously until I extracted this one, and it's rated at 115 litres per hour at 3.5 bar, which is what the Thor engines run at. Um, the Walbro pump that I've ordered in for this is rated at 350 litres per hour, so we've got a lot more capacity there should we ever need it and I'm changing the regulator for a Bosch 4 bar regulator as well um, which will give me increased flow on the 12 point injectors that I've got fitted already so I'm now going to assemble all of that pop it back in the truck right so fuel pump and the regulator all fitted up got the fuel pressure tester on here and it's running I'll just start it up a nice constant 4 bar obviously what I was aiming for and what the regulator is. Obviously it's uh, running a little bit rich now on, on petrol because the map isn't correct for these injectors and this fuel pressure. Um, that will all be sorted when uh, obviously it gets tuned with the turbos on. So in a few weeks time I'm going to start fitting turbos, Yay! which will be just in a couple of seconds for you guys. Well there you go, the turbos are on. Obviously it's not quite that simple, there's still a hell of a lot of pipe work to put in here and up there and extra radiator in here and some wires to change and a whole list of things. And to add to that I've just found um, some free play in both my front wheel bearings so that'll get added to the list as well. However, um, yeah, they are on. I'm not sure if this will be the end of this video, it depends how much I get done next weekend. Um, and uh, Office Steve is away this coming week so he won't be able to edit anything for me so uh, potentially I'll be a little bit after this if not um, then the next video will be uh, firing up with all the other work done um, just to uh, show the downpipes are actually on and connected to each other 
So I've got the rest of the exhaust system to install as well. But yeah, going well. Um, I've realized I'm gonna have to make up a heat shield for my LPG injectors, because um, uh, they are uh, closer than uh, UK LPG guidelines to the exhaust, therefore they need a shield. And I have got turbo jackets um, to go on, but um, I'll put an additional shield on in as well. Can't be too safe for this, so there we go. Well, it's definitely looking different from when you were last here. Yeah, you've done something for once. Yeah. Uh, one thing I should point out in the video that I forgot to mention last time was the ECU relocation, which originally was planned for the driver side, um, I've shown in previous videos. Turned out the wires were just long enough to get it through the bulkhead, and now is located in the passenger footwell, which means I haven't got to worry about any heating of the ECU or anything, or not heating of it, but cooling of it, sorry, um, because there's a fan that obviously runs inside the box there to pump cool air through it, um, which I was considering ducting and everything down that side, so. That was nice and easy. Hopefully it's not interfered with the header tank that I was going to put there for the charge cleaning system. It's fine, it's all it's fine. fine. However, um, I have oil to the turbos, I have oil from the turbos. There's a couple of little bits to neaten up. Um, I've ordered some 45 degree bends for the AN fittings instead of 90s and straights that I've got at the moment. However, um, operating remote start at the moment. Go on then Holly. <laughs> Now I should point out, it's running really rough at the moment. Um, obviously there's no MAF plugged in, and um, it's got four bar fuel pressure regulator on instead of 3.5 and 12 point injectors rather than four, which are oversized. So hence the but turbos. Spoolie spoolie. Spoolie spoolie. Step two, finish building it. Yeah. <laughs> 